All right, y'all, welcome back once again. Uh, the lock we're going to take a look at is right here. I picked this up recently from my local Harbor Freight. Who doesn't love Harbor Freight, huh? I just love Harbor Freight. Uh, not the highest of quality products, but, you know, if you're going to use something like once or twice, you know, that that's where you want to go because it's very affordable. But, yeah, I seen this thing and I just had to have it. Just had to have it. Uh, it's a big, bulky, kind of heavy duty, I must say, uh, square chain square square style chain uh pretty large lengths i'm just going to read something off the box here 35 and a half inch iron chain for durability built-in dust cover uh heavy duty square chain for chain links for added strength polyester chain cover so yeah that's pretty much the gist of it let me slide this off if i can there we go and yeah that's about it other than uh your typical warnings and it's from harbor freight in camarillo california so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so I did, uh, prior to uh, turning the camera on, I did take a look at the chain. And, you know, I've got those uh, hardness test files. Uh, let me see. These hardness test files um, I've been using quite a bit recently. Um, it's to test Rockwell hardness on steel. Uh, and I did check out the chain a little bit. And i got to tell you, it's actually not bad. And I went a step further, and I took my uh, spring-loaded punch, and I took it to the chain, and I mean, it barely puts a, a little a little speck in it. So I got to give the chain a thumbs up. It's not awful, and it is welded shut, as you can see. Um, and it is the same chain all the way through, so it's not one of those cheats. So not bad on the chain. The lock, on the other hand, it's large. It's got a pretty decent sized shackle here. Let's find the key. It is a disc detainer type lock. Uh, another thing I found funny was, hopefully the camera's going to pick this up. The key looks like it was cut and then chrome plated because they're not cuts. You can see the chrome is kind of like over the top of the cuts. It's kind of strange. I think it's the first time I've seen one like this. Usually you can see the cuts, but you really can't. Any hoodles, just kind of strange. So let's see. Put the key in, rotato, and pull it off. And it does lock on both sides. I don't know if you can see inside the hole there. Uh, the locking poles going back in. Uh, they don't come out very far. Let's see if we can get down in that hole. See it going back in there. But they are on both sides. Uh, not the highest quality lock. Um, the chain I would probably use with a better lock. But yeah, this here, not so great. Um, and I want to show you why. Well, besides it's just cheap. Um... I did try picking it, and it was kind of silly. Okay, now I can't get it to go back on. There we go. Ah, it also has to sit very flat, or the key won't lock it back up. See? Yeah. There we go. Good grief, Charlie Brown. So, yeah, just very cheap. So let's see what it takes to pick into this thing. Like I said, I did try it a few minutes ago, and it was quite sad. Uh, as you can see, let me show you the key again. It's got a few cuts in there, but these shallow cuts on the cheap locks, these shallow cuts up here, when the locks are very cheap, the, the, the cuts on the disc are so wide. That, I mean, where the sidebar goes into the slot on the disc, they're just so wide that some of the shallow cuts, they really don't matter. They're almost a zero anyways. So, let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Rotate all the discs. I'm just going to use the sparrows. Um, I did have to adjust the uh, fork, the tension fork, because it sits pretty deep in the lock. Alright, so, let's put the tip in there. Let's put some tension on it. And maybe I can just kind of sit it on the chain here. Like so. Okay. All right, go back in and get that last disc at the bottom. Okay, that's a zero. That one's tight. I think I got that one. That one doesn't matter. That one doesn't matter. All right, so look. 
go back down and get that last there that the one at the bottom because we know that was a zero counter rotate and there it is you see what i mean so it's that bad so yeah when they're um on cheap disc detainer locks when you've got a shallow cut say uh, i don't know maybe a one two three or so it's still going to be like a zero because the gate is so wide it doesn't really matter so i only really had to rotate that second disc in you see that second cut I just had to rotate that one a little bit and that was it so yeah so i'm going to give the chain a thumbs up because it's not half bad but i'd use a better lock with it all right so that's it thank you all so much for watching if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see more cool stuff like this featured let me know in the comments all right and subscribe all the cool people are doing it okay thank you